Even though the packaging is clearly marked Breaking Bad, nothing seems to be ticking or going up in smoke, so I'm going in for a closer look. Hi everybody, I'm Sabine Lenz, the founder of Paper Spikes with your weekly dose of paper inspiration. I have to admit, chemistry was not my strong suit when I was in high school, but even I remember that when you combine certain elements, the results can be explosive. Just ask Walter White, the rogue science teacher in AMC's beloved crime drama Breaking Bad. To commemorate the end of this landmark series, the network came up with a truly explosive combination on its own. By reaching out to my good friends, the very creative printers at high resolution, to craft a truly unique piece of art, as well as a very memorable packaging experience in which to place it. I have to admit, when I was first presented with this box, I had absolutely no idea what I was in for. In other words, it was like your typical Breaking Bad episode. The package itself consists of a heavyweight turned edge sleeve and a super heavy drawer, both wrapped in Hollander's Arrestox book cloth in fern green, which is a perfect match for the show's brand colors. On the top of the sleeve, High Resolution rendered the Breaking Bad logo in green hot foil. Pulling a handy ribbon on the side of the drawer box packaging dramatically reveals the contents. And quite frankly, this is where a video is worth a thousand words, because what is awaiting me inside is not just unique, but multidimensionally unique in a way we just don't see that often. Where to begin? Well, let's start with the sleeve itself. A peek inside the sleeve reveals a velvet lining to ensure a smooth removal of the drawer. Absolutely vital considering its weight. And now to what lays inside. Fitted inside the drawer is a two inch thick piece of padding, foam covered in black velvet, containing four identical cutouts. Snugly resting in two of them sits a pair of two inch acrylic cubes, each containing a glass vial at its center. The first vial contains bromine, the second barium. I know this because the accompanying screen printed acetates calls it out. Thank you very much. It also relays each element's chemical symbol and atomic number. Look closely and you can see these are actually embedded in the acrylic. To guard against scratches to the surface, high resolution polished each cube by hand with car wax. Both symbols are used to make up the B's in Breaking Bad's logo and are also visible at the bottom of the other two cutouts. As nothing seems to be ticking or going up in smokes, I'm going in for a closer look. Removing the cubes and black padding from the box reveals that the large green chemical symbols are actually part of a 5x5x1.5 five by five by inch custom poured acrylic base. The letters and numbers screen printed reverse in green, white and black. And thanks to the transparency of the acrylic and the way they were printed, they're visible from practically every angle. To give you some idea of the level of detail high resolution went into with this piece, the two removable cubes are held in place by 1 8 inch routed notches on the base. And because no Breaking Bad episode would be complete without a last minute twist, lifting the base out of the box reveals a parting gift. A bunch of, unfortunately shredded, $100 bills. Not only did they help to protect the printing on the bottom of the acrylic, it's also a subtle nod to how everyone's ambitions in the series usually ended up being realized in ironic, tragic ways. Sorry, Breaking Bad fans, only 20 of these amazing pieces were made, and this one is going back to my good friends at high resolution. But that doesn't mean I'm letting you go empty-handed. Mm -mm. To set you up on your own path to create your own amazing packaging, download our free packaging cheat sheet we created just for you. Find it at packagingcheatsheet.com. Did you enjoy this video? Then please subscribe to our channel. And of course, it would be amazing if you shared with all your friends. And... Keep sending me your fabulous printed pieces. I love to feature them.